Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today we are making lasagna in the air fryer. 25 minutes and it's done and bubbly and amazing. I hope you love this recipe. Be sure and give me that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment, all that fun stuff because that really does help me. And let's get started. So what you need to do to make the air fryer lasagna is you're going to have to cook up some meat. I am using mild Italian sausage and ground beef. Now you really, in my humble opinion, need both because it just gives it a great flavor. This is probably going to make up way more meat than I need, but what I don't use, I can store and make other dishes with it. It does freeze, so I'm going to put some of my olive oil down. Hamburger meat goes in. And Italian sausage goes in. And we're going to get this browned up. The good thing about the Italian sausage is it's already got a gr lot of great flavor. And if you were making a meatless lasagna, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, just leave out the, the meat. I am definitely a carnivore. We're going to hit it with a little bit of salt. It's a pepper. It's a pepper. All right, so our meat is mostly done, so we're going to pull it off real quick. I'm using a slotted spoon so we don't get any of the extra fat with it. Okay, all right. I'm going to add just a touch more. Touch. <laughs> I'm going to add a touch more of my olive oil. One of these days, I'm going to do a blooper video. Y'all are going to be, y'all are going to laugh at how much shenanigans go on. All right, we'll set our meat over here for a second. I'm adding a small or a medium, about a medium diced onion. Okay. Want it just to kind of really get uh, flavorful. I'm going to add some oregano. Basil. Probably a good teaspoon of both. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Add some garlic to this. Okay, get them kind of translucent looking. Now you're going to add your tomatoes. I've got fire roasted tomato that also has some garlic in it. Smush them down just a little bit. If you have never tried the fire roasted tomatoes, my gosh, give it a try. It has the absolute best flavor to it. One small can of tomato sauce. Now, all this to say, if you wanted to be real quick and easy, use some pasta sauce. It would work just fine, marinara. And then I'm going to add just a almost a full can of tomato paste. Now this isn't a cook slow all day marinara sauce. This is a do it quick, get it right, because the whole point of this is do it easy, uh, do it quickly, and have a good dinner. You can also make this up and freeze it and cook it when you need it. I would use a, wouldn't necessarily use the pan that I'm gonna use to make this this way, but you can, there are other smaller pans you can use for your air fryer to make it. And this also translates in the oven. So if you want to pop it in the oven, you absolutely can do that. I decided I wanted just a little bit more tomato sauce in there. 
a little too thick for me. So, okay, I've got my sauce made up. We are going to uh, put our ricotta together, and then we're going to put this lasagna together. So we'll be right back. Okay, to make our ricotta filling, I. All right, guys. Confession time. I never use cottage cheese. I know people do. I, my family, personally don't like it. If you use cottage cheese, more power to you. But we personally think it's disgusting. <laughs> so, we carton of our ricotta. I'm using some Parmesan Reggiano. Maybe a half cup. We'll put some dried basil in there if you had fresh, and I, I do. I'm just not going out there and getting it right now, so I'm just going to use dry. And then you're just going to mix it up really good. Okay. Just a touch of salt. Pink. And some black pepper. Okay. Let's put this together. Let me show you how easy this is. We're using the no bake noodles. I will have a link for my uh, Amazon link for this in the description below. These are so stinking good. And they're so easy. And you don't have to spend 10 years bowling noodles. Okay. So first things first, let's spray our pan. First thing, you want to lay some of your sauce on the bottom. Kind of go around, flatten it out. I'm going to add some of my Parmesan. Got some Parmesan. And we're going to add our new... They come in sheets. I'm just going to break mine in half. Try to get as much of your surface covered as you can. I know using a round pan is not always easy, but these do. just try to make sure everything's kind of covered. And just kind of push it down a little bit. And then we're going to add some more sauce. And I may end up using all of my meat here, <laughs> which is fine. Just kind of press everything down tight. Some of our parm. Now we're going to add our ricotta. Spread that out. Try to get it best you can all over everything. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add some of the mozzarella. And these are pretty thin slices, so it will work extremely well here. Okay, now, I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on top. And add some more noodles. You just want to push it down as best you can and get it flat in your pan, okay? And it did at this top with our Parmesan. One last quick layer of the mozzarella, just a little bit, just to kind of get it on top and make it gooey. 
All right, now we're going to cover this up with foil because you need to make a good seal with your foil. So keep the foil. And one thing I saw another YouTuber, I can't remember who, so I apologize, but I saw another YouTuber do this and I thought, you know, that's ingenious. They spr uh, sprayed their foil. So that's what we're gonna do. And it keeps your stuff from sticking. Okay, I'll cover this up. You want a really tight seal. I'm also kind of pressing this down a little as we as I close it up. Then we're going to put it over here in our air fryer and cook it for about 25 minutes. When there's about five minutes left, I'm going to take the top off and kind of toast the top a little bit. But I'm cooking it at about 350. Okay, so our lasagna is done. I did take the foil off, let it uh, toast on top just a little bit, and then I've let it set for just a minute. We are going to attempt to cut into this bad boy. Now, looking at this, I realize this would very easily feed four people, if not more. Um, so, it makes a very deep Maybe not come out as gracefully as I would love for it to, but you know what? Uh, you also could do this in a spring form pan and then pop it up, but it do this in a spring form pan and might come out a little better, but you know, for an air fryer lasagna, this looks pretty amazing. And then I'm just taking some bagged uh, garden salad You know, with all the that, you need <laughs> you need some vegetables. I have a breadstick, and then we are going to top this with a just a touch more cheese. I mean, really, why not? Uh, let's hit it just like that. All right, my friends, there you go. Air fryer lasagna. I sure hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Hey, if you like this video, I am making some chicken wings in this air fryer. So check that video out, and we'll see you guys on the next video.